good evening students welcome to your chapter reading session for chapter 7 editing in impress let's start with the chapter impress allows you to make changes in your presentation and these changes are known as editing making changes to a slide is called editing you can copy move delete and insert text and objects in a presentation after editing you must click on save button on the standard toolbar to save the changes the first thing we are going to do is copying the text impress allows you to copy the text that is already there in your slide you can paste it to other areas of the slide within the same or different presentation the copy and paste button are used for copying text to another location to do this follow the steps select the text you wish to copy click on copy button on standard toolbar click on click in the position where you wish to paste the text click on the paste button on the standard toolbar the copied text will be at new location it will also be displayed uh, at the earlier location let's start with that i'll be using powerpoint for the same opened up the powerpoint here I add some name let's say I have written Apple so I can select the word after selecting here is the copy command put on copy standard toolbar say copy command kya. then I have shifted to a new position and here I selected paste so you can see the word is available at both the location this is copying the text in slide moving the text to move the selected text to another location follow these steps click on the cut button on the standard toolbar and click the position where you wish to paste the text click on the paste button on the standard toolbar the text will be now placed at the new location let's try that again i am rubbing it out okay let's start with it here i wrote shri i selected the word after selecting i choose cut command so as you can see the word has been removed from that position now wherever i'll click and paste the word will appear at this position see pehle wali position se word hat chuka hai and it has moved to a new location this is moving the text after this we have deleting the text to delete the text follow the steps select the text you want to delete after that press the delete key from the keyboard the selected text will disappear from the presentation once i have written something see i have selected the word now if i'll press on delete button the word the line or the sentence which have been selected will be deleted from the presentation rearranging slides you can change the order or rearrange of the slides in the presentation to rearrange the order what you have to do click the slide thumbnail in the slide pane to select it drag the slide to the new location release the button release the button of the mouse the selected slide appears at the new location slide pane is this area so here I am going to add some slides okay and on the first slide I'll write 
let's say we have Shri written here after that on second slide I'll write apple third slide I'll write let's say orange you will see that orange is in third slide right now and fourth slide let's say uh, banana what is the sequence first slide is three second is apple third is orange and fourth is banana I can change the order of the slide I can bring the banana see it's going to come at the second position now see it has come to second position and rest of the slides have stepped down one position now let's see shall we take apple to the first position see apple has come on the first slide three on second slide banana on third and orange on fourth this is rearranging the slide inserting a shape you can insert shape in a presentation such as lines rectangles ellipses call outs basic shapes flow charts and stars impress has various ready-made shapes that you can insert how you can insert click on the desired to insert a shape follow the step click on the desired shape from the drawing toolbar the mouse pointer changes to a plus sign click on click and drag the mouse on the slide to insert the shape you will see eight handles appeared around the shape resize the shape using resizing handles as per your requirement to insert text inside the shape double click and start typing text appear inside the shape as you type so let's insert a shape click on insert menu shapes I'll go with rectangle plus sign the mouse has become plus sign now see I'm drawing a rectangle and here we have one two three four five six seven eight handles which will help to resize the shape we can increase the shape and we can decrease the shape of by using these recycling handles in recycling sorry resizing handles ka use karke hum shape ki size increase or decrease kar sakte hain even hum shape ko rotate bhi kar sakte hain see i am rotating the shape by using the rotating handle okay rotating an object you can rotate any object such as picture, shape, font work or text box that you have inserted. To rotate an object, follow the step. Click on the object to select. Click on the rotate button on the line and filling toolbar. Move the pointer to any one of the corner. Handle will change into rotational symbol. The eight resizing ha handles changes to rotation handle with a pivot center click and drag the handle to rotate the object students this completes today's chapter I would be sharing the exercise part of this chapter along with after this video thank you take care